So here we go with a couple of examples of using the unit circle to find exact values of radian measured trig functions. So let's start with the one example here. Find the exact value of the sine of 3 pi halves. So we go back to the, this and we start counting. Well, where's 3 pi halves? There's 1 pi half, 2 pi halves, 3 pi halves. 3 pi halves is rotated ah, three quarters way around the circle here. And we look at the address here, and the address at this point is x comma y, which is over left to right zero, x is zero, y is negative one. So x comma y at this point, x comma y at this point is zero comma one, negative one. So we have zero comma negative one as our points of this function of the, at, right here. So now we have to remember where, where, which one's sine. Well, sine is, we go alphabetical comma, cosine comma, sine. So the sine of this is negative one. Sine of this is negative one. Moving on then to the next one. We have the exact value of the cosine of three pi halves. Well, we already saw that this was zero comma negative one here. So we have zero comma negative one. Cosine is the first value, so the cosine is zero. Again, we get this from right here. And if we check our answers, and this will be posted online for you, but we check our answers, we have zero comma negative one. That's where we're at right here when we've rotated along in the red direction and we've walked three pi um, halves, which actually turns into about 4.7124 way around the circle. Let's go ahead and move to the next one. Find the exact value of the tangent of three pi halves. So again, we're still at the point zero comma negative one. And as we're at zero comma negative one, we can look at the tangent. Now the definition of the tangent, we had two. We had the tangent equals y over x or sine over cosine. We can use either of these definitions. Since we already have x and y right here, we'll go ahead and put it in. We have y at negative one over x at zero. And here we have our division by zero. And then we remember, oh yes, this is an odd multiple of pi halves. So this is undefined. Undefined. So we're undefined of the tangent here because we had that zero in the, numer in the denominator of the tangent. So moving on, now let's use the unit circle to find the exact value of seven pi fourths. So let's look at where is seven pi fourths. Let's go back here. Seven pi fourths, we have one pi fourths, two pi fourths, three pi fourths, four, five, six, seven. Seven pi fourths, all the way around to seven pi fourths. Now, this one, we don't have the exact answer because we're not on the axes. So this is going to be a little trickier to find what, where we're at. But it is a fourth. And we know that this reference angle here is going to be a fourth. So what was the reference angle over here at a fourth? What was pi fourths? Pi fourths was 45 degrees. And at 45 degrees, it was the square root of 2 over 2, comma, square root of 2 over 2. Now, over here, though, we're still out square root of 2 over 2 on the x, but now we're down square root of 2 over 2. So the point we're looking for for this is going to be square root of 2 over 2, comma, negative square root of 2 over 2. Because as we look at this point here, we're over and down instead of over and up. But the reference angle is still over here. And if we were to show that angle, you could see that we're over square root of 2 and down negative square root of 2. And that reference angle for 315 degrees is 7 pi fourths. And so we have the answer that we're looking for. And now we can answer both of these questions. We can look at, well, the cosine, that's the first one, that's square root of 2 over 2 because it wanted the exact value. And the sine, which is the second one, is negative square root of 2 over 2. So we have both of the answers. All from the unit circle in our knowledge of um, coordinate plane. So now we're going to use the unit circle in the definition of the tangent to find the exact value of tangent of negative 
5 pi thirds. Now we're moving in the negative direction, so this is a little harder. So I actually drew this one out for us. So we take a look here. We're at negative. And negative just means we're rotating the other direction. I, I marked that in green. So we're going 1 third, 2 thirds, 3 thirds, which is 1, 4 thirds, 5 thirds. So we've gone over negative 5 thirds. Now, but negative 5 thirds is the same as up 1 third. So what is the angle one third? Well, we can remember this point was corresponding to one third, which is our 60 degrees. So I can never remember that. So I always have to draw a little triangle and go back to Sokotoa. So if I draw my triangle and look at the right triangle, this is a 45, but we'll just mark it as 30, 60, 90. So this is our 30, 60, 90, and we had 30, the smallest one was one, and then the hypotenuse was two, and then we had the square root of three. No, nope, we had the other way around. See, I always mess that up. No, that's right. That's right, so we have that there. So we have the 30, 60, 90, 60 was opposite the middle one, square root of three is between two and one, one is doubled for the hypotenuse, so we have this, and this, corresponds to a 60 degree because this here is pi thirds pi thirds or 60 degrees and the tangent remember is y over x so we just have to remember how far out on the y we've gone how far up and we we have that hidden in here using Sokotoa uh, Sokotoa also gives us that it's adjacent over hypotenuse, a toa, toa, opposite over adjacent, 60 degrees, opposite over adjacent equals square root of 3 over 1. Square root of 3 over 1. So the tangent equals the square root of 3. And we can check our answer using a calculated, even though they wanted the exact value. We came up with an answer. We can check it and look at it and see whether or not we have it right by using our calculator. So we're going to take, we're, make sure we're in radians because we're looking in radians. And then we're going to take and look at the tangent of negative 5 pi divided by 3. And we'll get... Well, that's an approximation, but we can check. We think it's supposed to be the square root of 3, so we'll check square root of 3 and see if they're the same thing. And they are the same thing, so we got the right answer. We can go ahead and move on. Again, I'm using the calculator to check my work. I would never have been able to just guess that unless I had memorized what the square root of 3 was, but I can use my Sokotoa knowledge, first quadrant. This happened to be in the first quadrant, so it was easy, and we're able to find that exactly. Uh, reference angle and included degrees to find the exact value of 2 pi thirds. Now, 2 pi thirds, again, now we're rotating again positive, so we're going to rotate counterclockwise. So we rotate counterclockwise, 1 pi thirds, 2 pi thirds. Again, this reference angle is going to be pi thirds here. So we're looking at the reference angle. Now, cosine, comma, sine. What are the signs of the cosine and the sine here? So if we look at the sine and the cosine, we are positive comma negative here for the cosine comma sine and as I move over here it's negative comma and then we're going up so the cosine is negative over here so whatever this answer is going to be it's going to be negative and we'll have to pick that up in just a minute let's finish this quickly and we have negative this was cosine over here of pi thirds we go back here and see this is still 60 degrees. Cosine is cosoka. Soka. Uh, opposite. Adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent over hypotenuse is one half. So we have one half. Negative one half. Negative one half. I'll use the graph to check this really quickly. And if I go to two pi thirds and answer, we are over a half. Cosine is negative a half. You could also use your calculator, but we are over at negative a half and up pi over two. So we'll go ahead and finish there. We'll pick up the next examples 
in the next video. Thanks.